That's a large skull. He's flying around, but it's not looking too good. Uh-oh, something frightened the birds here. I don't know if it was the hawk or someone they saw. Could be someone they saw. Charlie didn't waste any time. I didn't like that uh, package that was torn up, but it could have been a workman that just threw something from his uh, from his bag, leftover bread or something. Who knows? Or they drug it over there. I have no idea. So, not out here all day. That's what makes this place so dangerous. Um, if you can see this, Hawk wants to land. I might be too close. Might be getting in Jeremy's way. I'm going to move off the field. I'll have to tell you, there won't be much left for Jeremy by the time he gets down. He may have gotten a little bit, but... As I say, the roof, we know this rain we have and the roof is already cleaner. Because it really works at getting the, uh, the soot off the roof, the rain helps. But you still have to power blast it to really, to really get it all off. Now you can see the birds from here. Pigeons were working on their little area. Uh, something here they didn't like. Someone's giving out the call here. One of the crows is giving out the alarm for some reason. Wow. The seagull took off. I don't see the seagull. It was too much for him. It was too much action for him. Let's see, I think I got a couple of peanuts left. Now I'm further away from the field. Maybe Jeremy will come down. We'll see. Oh, he did come down. The seagull did come down. Look at that. Now he's on there. Now he's eating something to eat. That's our tag gull. You see, um, he's been raised in captivity, or he was hurt, and but he's he's imprinted on being fed. Um, and so for him, this is, uh, this is something he might be familiar with where he's just, he's not, he never was any part of any flock. He's always been a loner. And, uh, so he comes here, he knows he can get something to eat here and, uh, maybe he's having trouble fending on, you know, for food, looking for food on his own. I don't know. But he's been here since October, since he came with the uh, with the large group of seagulls. So, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, but what are you going to do? I mean, obviously he's hungry. He's not finding the food that he needs along the lake. Uh, and there's his mate. He ate a little bit, and now he took off. Yeah, but he wasn't as aggressive as he was this morning. Uh, I guess because he was super hungry this morning. And uh, so, everybody's getting something. Hopefully everybody got something. I'm gonna throw a couple of peanuts out here. I think I got a couple of peanuts. I'm not going to take pictures with my other camera because I'm afraid. Oh. I don't have any peanuts. Oh, I thought I had some in the car. That's very sad. Okay, so I got nothing to throw out here. But like I say, the birds will get something this evening. So, 
I'm going to sign off this video. Uh, you can see the birds. They will be out here this evening. And I'm not sure where where Jeremy is. He was here. Actually, I don't see any hawks flying around. So this is DC Danton Crow Crusader. I'm going to go home now, uh, upload this video, and then I'm going to. Uh, uh, someone walking by. Don't want him in my video. Then I'm going to uh, answer your comments. Okay, this is DC Danton Crow Crusader uh, until uh, this evening. So I'll be out here about between 7 and 7.30, uh, about an hour before nightfall, and uh, they'll, they'll get another treat. So maybe we'll wait closer to 8 o'clock when the Migros people are gone, when the shopping center is closed. Um, that might even be a better idea. Okay, we'll let the birds eat in peace, and I'm going to sign off now, and you have a good Monday. This is DC Danton, Crow Crusader, over and out.